Letting it rip here in Miami Intercontinental Hotel, yes. INFC yes. 64, UFC Pass. Sir, how are you? I am fantastically amazing. I'm sorry that you just caught, you know, what we were, what was going on. But hey, you caught me right here in the middle, awesome. you know what I'm saying? That's how, that's, that's that's how we is. like it. That's how we like it. Yeah, man. I was listening to your flow and your music. And how's that part about Bruce Lee? I love that about it kicking goes, down the door. It goes, Me tratan de cerrar la puerta y yo la abrí. Con una pata voladora como Bruce Lee. Pile de año en esta vaina, mira como sigo aquí. Trematando la liga, nadie me saca de aquí. Me observa, me critican y tobitos están hablando. Pero cuando me ven en la calle están saludando. Vigilando todo lo que hago. Me deja saber que soy un bacano. There you go, two nice in the house. What, what is your social media handle? It's at 2NYCELIVE, two nice live. And they can get the music and all the digital platforms? All the digital platforms, Amazon, iTunes, Spotify, all that good stuff. Listen, I was listening to it last night, I got it. It's awesome. Music, fashion, Hell yeah. fights. Hell yeah. That's real fight. That's the it's definitely, it's definitely music to get you pumped. It's definitely music to hear it in the gym. You know what I'm saying? While you're getting ready, while you're getting focused. Because you already know we were never created to live an average life. We were created to be history. Exactamente. Estamos creando historia for yeah. Latinos in Dade County. Hell Two yeah. nice. 305, donde surgen los campeones. Shout out, shout out to Yuli. He helped me to teach me how to do that thing. Yuli Monster. <laughs> get the camera out of my face. I just get here and I meet the man, Mr. <laughs> B. B. Shop here. Game time management. Ah. We're in the Intercontinental Hotel in Miami for Titan FC 64. I'm looking forward to that heavyweight title fight. That's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. <laughs> it's gonna be great. But keep an eye. I don't wanna talk about nobody else. Just keep an eye on that young girl, 18 years old, Martin. Evelyn Martin. Oof, that's all I gotta say, man. Awesome, man. I got you here. I saw Mr. Too Nice in the house also. <laughs> He's letting it rip. So make sure you check it out. This is Fight Week. We got Titan FC 64. We have a uh, triple fights Saturday, and we have the UFC Acosta against Adesanya. Oh, who, who are you going for? I don't want to say it, man. Man, you always putting me on like on the hot seat. You know what? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna put my money on Acosta. Adesanya is really good, really, really good. Well, man, Acosta is. Yeah. He looks like he looks like he's the truth. Yeah, I'll tell you honestly. I put, yo puse billete conmigo en Acosta, I put my money in Acosta also. Um, el Titan 64 este viernes y después el sábado es 305 donde surgen los campeones. Vaya. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. With Mr. Kevin, not the, not the photographer, but the artist at Titan FC 64, the weigh-ins. Titan 64, el pesaje. Va a ser el bien en el UFC Pass. It's going to be in the UFC Pass on Friday. I've been talking about the heavyweight fight, but we have a lot of debuts also. What fights are you looking forward to seeing? Uh, my main event today and uh, for tomorrow, 100%, is uh, Evelyn Martins. Yeah, people keep talking about that. It's going to be awesome. Estamos aquí en el Titan 64 en el Intercontinental Hotel en el sur de la Florida. Va a ser el bien en el UFC Pass. Después el sábado tenemos la pelea 305. Estamos hablando de la pelea. Yo estoy hablando de los pesos completos, pero están hablando mucho de Martin. Sí, eh, Dinamita. Es una muchacha joven, pero con todo, de verdad, lo que tiene de potencial y, y la técnica y la dedicación que tiene con 18 años es algo impresionante. Y de verdad que, obviamente, siempre, uno siempre quiere ver los pesos completos, eh, porque trae mucha acción, casi siempre alguien, se, alguien, alguien sale con un KO, pero yo creo que, la, la, de verdad, el cartel es de mañana, completo desde que, desde que de la primera pelea hasta la última. Excelente. Dinamita, Energía, 305, Titan FC. So we have Dynamite happening tomorrow in South Florida. Titan FC 64, 305, donde surgen los campeones. Champions Rise. South of LA 305, where the Champions Rise. We're here with the Gunk Shed. Awesome, sir. Let me tell you something. I love your style, okay? And I love what you're doing. Uh, you've got a great uh, facility. you got a, uh, Warriors over there. Uh, Mr. Villamil, I saw the other day. I've known him for a while. He's a great young man. He just won. Um, so, uh, anything happening in the Gold Shed that we should be seeing today in Titan FC 64? I mean, yeah, definitely. This whole year we've been undefeated. I think we're like 27 and 0 right now. Uh, you know, our pros are just killing it. We're undefeated in Titan 2. We uh, all finishes but one. Um, 
So, one is pound for pound one of my best guys. So you're gonna see an unbelievable performance from him, guaranteed. My other guy, Adrian, he just moved to our gym about four months ago. Um, so I've improved his game a lot, but it's interesting to see if he's gonna be able to display that in the fight. That's what we're going to get to see. Yeah, you know what I mean? Correct, correct. To see the improvements. Uh, he's fighting a very tough guy from a, a good gym and a Masters. So uh, it'll be a good test for him. Excellent. I'm, I'm saying in Spanish. 305 Sura Florida. Estamos aquí con el, ma el maestro de Gold Shed. Tiene muchos campeones, muchos peleadores en Titan FC. El 64. Han ganado muchos títulos. Me está hablando de los peleadores que tienen que van a ser excelentes. Tienen, están haciendo muy buen trabajo. Um, I also was talking Can to I try Spanish one second? Sure. Yeah. Mi español es muy mal, pero yo gusto leo el, li el, el libro el li <laughs> eh, en la escuela de español porque mi gimnasio todo cubano y mi, mi corazón es cubano and yo quiero español mucho. Hassin, where's Hassin from? Oh, my family is uh, originally from Iraq, uh, Pakistan, Iraq. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome wrestling over there. Yes, awesome, yes, yes. Awesome warriors. Yes, thank you. Yes, and much, much respect. Thank you for your time. Good luck. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, Marico Yes, sir. Adios. De Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo. Le nombre la compañía? Fighting Force. Fighting Force. Fighting Force. En la última vez en China FC tuvieron un campeón, ganó el campeonato de peleador. Correcto, Oscar Cruz, eh, campeón, peso mosca, 125 libras. Feliz, felicidades, Gracias. he estado viendo los medios sociales, hay muchas cosas pasando en tan Santo Domingo, sí. mucha promoción, esperamos ir por allá pronto. Ayer mismo estaba hablando con Puerto Rico y Santo Domingo, se va a ver mucho, muchas cosas pasando internacionalmente. Estamos en Times FC 64, la pelea va a estar espectacular, ¿no verdad? Sí, creo que tienen una, una gran cartelera, eh, muchos buenos atletas, así que estaremos viendo. Y la idea es que algunos de los que, que brillen en la noche de mañana puedan acompañarnos a, al evento que haremos en conjunto en Santo Domingo, en noviembre. Excelente, so I want to talk about that. In November they're going to have an event in Santo Domingo. Uh, make sure you check out the company, the social media handle is? Fighting Force RD. Uh, uh, Fighting Force RD. Excellent. C64 with me, Mr. Collazo. Thank you. Excellent. Eight and zero, undefeated, pro yep. debut. Yep. I've been watching the social media. What's your social media handle? Uh, Danny uh, yeah. underscore What do you expect to see uh, Friday night in your fight? Uh, Friday night, I'm looking for the quick finish. Gonna put them way Ooh, I like that. I like the energy. That's a soft road of your five energy. Uh, in Spanish, vamos a ver el señor Colazo es 8 y 0 invicto. Va a ser el, el pro debut en Time FC 64. El tenis tiene la energía esa del sur de la Florida 305. Thank you so much. His father is here. great, sir. Thank you very much. I love to see the family, you know, behind it. It's so important to have a team behind it. Uh, He's 8 and 0, undefeated, his pro debut. How do you feel? Wow, I'm excited as ever. You know, we feel blessed, really. Uh, all the people that have, we've ended up surrounding us along the way, we couldn't be more blessed. By the way, let's, let's, let's mention some call outs of people that we want to thank. Uh, uh, I do nutrition, uh, I do life. Good, what team are you representing? I'm representing uh, Sam from the main Fighter Ocean Martial Arts. Sunrise, Price, <laughs> I got a lot. Awesome, awesome. Chuck, Coach Chuck. Chuck. Yeah, Coach Chuck. Chuck Eisen. Awesome, and we want to sh give a, a shout out and respect and respect and honor, like we say, to all the schools, all the martial arts, because we're promoting martial arts combat sports in South Florida. Where are you from, sir? I was uh, born in Miami, raised in Hialeah. Oh, excellent. Old oh, school. Oh, yeah, I know. Old school recognized old, old school. That's right. right. So we have that old school energy and new school, the evolution of martial arts here. 305 is where the champions rise. Boom. We have a 305 South Florida star here in the UFC. Did a debut with a victory. I'm so, help, I'm so happy for you. I'll tell you why. Because uh, you've had fighters at 305 Fights events and you've been training other people. And you've always conducted yourself respect, with respect and honor. So you're a great example for South Florida, a great example for Latinos and, and, and martial arts. So congratulations. Excellent. Uh, excellent. Congratulations in your fight. What's next for Danny? What are we going to see? Well, right now I'm just recovering. Uh, just really good, actually. You know, I had two fights in one month. Yeah. And it was two wake-ups at the same time. So I took a little bit of a, my body took a little toll. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just recovering right now. And most likely, with, you know, everything goes good. November, December, I should be fighting again. I should fight before the year ends. Excellent. Let's make sure we support these local talents that are representing us 
international in the world. Your social media handle? Yeah, D Warrior eight seventy five Twitter and Instagram. You can follow me there. Excellent. Let's support him, MMA Masters, all the schools, everybody. We're here to promote martial arts and the combat sports. Muchas gracias por representar los latinos de 305, no sé, eres un muchacho que hace tiempo que estás trabajando duro y de verdad que me hace feliz que ese esfuerzo y el trabajo que has hecho has visto el resultado, son felicidades. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Y para adelante 305, donde suben los campeones. Estamos en el UFC Pass, estamos en el Titan FC 64 en el UFC Pass. Yo no sabía que tú eres hermano de Danny. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Yo soy el hermano menor de Dani. Hermano menor, ¿tu nombre completo? Jonathan Calderón. Jonathan Calderón, ¿vas a estar, vas a estar peleando en qué peso? 125 Flyweight. 125 Flyweight. Sí, Esperamos sí. cosas grandes, porque expect big things. Because Danny's very talented, so I know it's in the blood, and I know it's going to be really good. I'm, I'm sure without you seeing you're talented. What do you expect to see in your fight? Striking, grappling? Uh, I mean, the fight can go anywhere. I'm a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. Um, I'm a boxer as well. Um, I do Muay Thai, so any martial arts, I'm ready for it. So you're going to see a great show from me. Awesome. Any shout outs to any people, your team member, your family? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean uh, shout outs to my team, AMA Masters, um, my sponsors, that I'm in wellness. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, teammates and stuff, I'm not going to say names because yeah. I always leave someone behind too. So. Uh, everybody who supported me for this camp, my family, everyone, and everybody who's watching from Thailand, Australia, all my friends all around the world, I'm ready for this bout, so thank you. Excellent. We want to thank all the sponsors, everybody that makes a team to bring this together, and together we're going to rise a champion. Good luck, young man. Looking forward to see your fight. Okay, we have the Unbroken right now in, in the cage, feeling out the cage, getting ready for his fight. Looking forward to see him fight, always brings the energy. How are you doing, young man? Excellent. What do we expect to see in your fight? Uh, grappling, ground, striking? I'm going to the fight also. And we have a female UFC fighter, Roxanne. Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, what is going to be happening? Well, first of all, what's your social media handle? How people can get a uh, hold of you, see what's happening with you? Uh, hello, I'm Roxy Matafiri. My social media handle is Roxy Fighter, R O X Y Fighter, on Twitter and Instagram. Excellent. What do you have up and coming next in the UFC or in MMA for, with you? Uh, I just fought against Andrea Lee uh, a week ago and I won, thank goodness. Yes. Um, good fight. Yes, it was a great fight. Um, in October, I have a grappling match coming up against Danielle Kelly. Any uh, shout outs to anybody that you would like to give out to? Uh, yes, shout out to my best friend and training partner, Serena De Jesus, who's fighting on the tight card uh, tomorrow. It's oh, be good. excellent. She, is she fighting uh, Martin? Yes, that's right. Yeah, the women warriors going at it. Your name? Serena De Jesus. De Jesus, and you're fighting Martin, correct? Correct. Yes, been hearing a lot about that fight. I'm excited that everybody's excited about a female fight. I love, like I said, I love this energy. It, it, it's an energy necessary to empower people through martial arts. How, how do you see the fight going? What, striking, grappling? I see her trying to grapple with me because I've seen her that she's a good, very good grappler, but I dream of really good grapplers, like when we talked about a very, and I went to Zero Brothers and a lot of other good grapplers, and I just, you know, I'm gonna try and just strike with her, and if it goes to the round, it's okay. I've had my only finish in my MMA record be a, a remake of Joe, so let's see if I can add another one. <laughs> Awesome. Well, that's one of the things that I like also. It's not only going to be a high energy fight per second, but it's going to be a high skilled fight. So I'm looking forward to Titan FC 64 Friday night. Titan 64, El Vienes en el UFC Pass 305, donde suben los campeones. Muchas gracias. We have Mr. Eastman here. You know, it's great to see people that are that are successful, that are the big fish promoting the little fish and everybody, everybody coming together and promoting and empowering through the martial arts. Thank you very much, sir. How you doing? Uh, if anybody wants to see what's happening with you and get in contact with you, what is your social media handle? Um, I'm uh, on Instagram. It's uh, Beastman MMA. So that's how you get a hold of me. Uh, but I, I, I train out of Syndicate, um, teaching a couple of fighters uh, there. Serena De Jesus, the left, the southpaw, and got a couple other fighters. My, my, my old son, he's the junior, and then another guy named David Kale Jordan. And uh, so, and like I said, Serena trying to help her get herself together. Yeah. Trying to put some hands together, you know? Yes, awesome. I'm sure she's in good hands. And we have, I'm glad to see that we have Junior 
in there also. Uh, I was just interviewing her. She, she says she knows she's ready to grapple. She's ready for that. And she's going to you know, go for the striking and go for the hands. You, you see it going that way? Well, you know what? We, we, we make adjustments according to, to what our opponents are doing, but we still fight our fight. Like I said, if there's, we need to put, put them on the ground, we'll take them to the ground. But if we need to stand up, we'll stand up. But, you know, that's the way fighting is. It may go one way, all grappling, 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 and it has to stand up. So you have to finish it. Whatever works, that's all we're doing. We're looking for the win. Th th thank you very much for taking the time, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for you for Combat Sports and for everybody. Thank you, sir. 306, we have one of the Gladiators and Warriors going to be in Tanif 64 on the UFC pass. Tell everybody your name, sir. Last name? Mike. And he's going to be representing MMA Masters. Uh, do you have, um, who's going to be in your corner? I'm looking forward to seeing you in the cage. Tell everybody your, your social media handle. Excellent. I've been seeing you train hard. It's been seeing you develop and everything like that. What do you expect to see in the cage tomorrow? Oh, going to be a quick finish. Awesome. Taking a quick finish. I love that 305 energy. Any shout outs to? Shout out to my mama. <laughs> shout out to Fusion CBD, uh, Paramount Luxury Rentals, and Meet the Goat, the best Mediterranean food in Miami. You want to fight Dade County with the champions right? Titan FC 64, Friday night UFC fans. Sensei Roger Carl here. Oh, hey, we gotta stop. We gotta start meeting each other. I know we gotta stop meeting like this, man. He's always here running the the weigh-ins and doing so many things for South Florida, for the martial arts scene. Thank you very yes, much, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Glad to be a part I'm of I'm looking it. forward to this heavyweight fight. This is a great card. What, what fight are you looking forward to? Uh, it's hard to pick, man. That's a, of course the heavyweight title. You know, I'm looking forward to two guys that bang, you know, yeah. bang it out. I heard man. the female fight's gonna be. A the female fight is gonna be on fire. That's a, that's like our feature fight, and you know the, these ladies both bang, man. You know, both of them. Um, uh, Evelyn is a straight savage, you know, and uh, it is gonna be. A hell of a fight. They have some UFC fighters in the corner and everything like yes, that. Yes, of course. It, it, it's really happening. Uh, your contact information, social media handle? Yes, is uh, ATT Sunrise MMA and also MMA Science. You guys got to check it out. We just dropped the number one book on Amazon and martial arts. Yes. yes. I want to talk to you about that. Yes, I would love, you know, come by the school, do a podcast on that. Absolutely. Because I believe in what you're doing. Yes, I think it's a long so time coming. Thank you so much. I really want to talk about that. Yes, sir. Um, that's, that's that's for a whole other subject. Yeah. We, could, we could talk for days on that. Yes, but sir. Yeah, but I'm glad you did. something that hasn't been done. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, for sir. Sure. From the bottom of my heart, man, I, I appreciate you guys so much. I know everybody worked hard to get here. So uh, without further ado, Raj, let's get him up. All right. Get you out of here. Special most fun. Thanks and the club with your seat 64. Mr. Calderon, 124.2, 124.2. We have some great fight week and fight week. We have Tiny C46 on Friday. Mr. Garcia, 125.4. On Saturday, on the USC, on Saturday we night. We're starting the show for a reason, ladies and gents. All right, gentlemen. All right, face forward. All right, great, thank you, Julie. Good job, boys. All right, guys, bout number two is a 150 catch weight. This is our international bout. So, we have a international fight from Australia. Mr. Thomas, 146.2, 146.2. Mr. Thomas, 146.2, from Australia. And then catch weight, the stick is in front of the leader, and a catch weight of 150 pounds. Christopher Lamar. Mr. Levant, 164.6, 164.6. And the seat is 64. And out of the red corner, Danny Colazzo. Mr. Colazzo, 159.2, 159.2. Right, 
Mexico flavor, Mr. Keller. Mr. Keller, 